Hello guys, this is Shiva here again. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys a, a price action strategy, right? Using only the trend line, okay? I call this strategy a counter trend strategy, okay? The name of this strategy is called the counter trend strategy, okay? Whereby we use counter trend line to follow the trend of the market okay i know you might be confused right now but in a minute you are going to understand what i'm trying to say all right so um all i ask of you is to make sure you stick to this video make sure you don't skip any part of this video till the end because there are going to be a lot of information that i will be sharing in this video and i don't want you to miss out okay i don't want you to miss out of any of those things I'll be sharing with you guys in this video okay so with that being said now let's watch okay with that being said let's go to the topic of the day all right let me explain how the strategy work for you guys all right so this strategy is based on pure price action but anybody can understand this okay because i'm going to make it as simple as possible all right now here with this strategy you are going to try your best as much as possible follow the trend all right this is a trend following strategy the strategy helps you to follow the trend all right so like the saying goes the trend is your friend whenever you are trading and you are following the trend you are safer okay so now whenever you come to a chart like this before i say anything let me quickly share with you the settings all right so this is just what you need for this strategy all right the factor okay so you click on this and then you search for factor which is right here as you can see the search of the fractal and this is just the setting right you click on see but i only need that to help me identify the structures right the highs and low of the market okay that's what the fractal that's what the fractal is here for okay so now let's let me use this area for the explanation of this strategy now there's a downtrend here right which you are going to first of all identify from the higher time frame whichever time frame you choose to use for this strategy is good to go all right so you can use the one hour you can use the four hours if the one hour the 30 minute time frame or the 15 minute time frame and then you can go to the lower time frame to take your entry all right so in this video right now i'm using the one hour time frame all right so now let's say you come to your chart and you spot a downtrend like this what you have to do is to identify the trend right so as you can see here right now we are in a downtrend okay so now i've identified that we are in a downtrend what i'm going to do now is to go down to the 15 minute time frame all right or i'll go to the five minute time frame okay so i'm going to be using the five minute time frame in this um, video example all right so let's go to the beginning of the trend line all right so this is the beginning of the trend right so now what i will be doing here is that i'm going to be using counter trend to take my entries okay now what is counter trend counter, uh, counter trend these are trend lines that goes against the main trend of the market okay so now as you can see here what i'm going to do is that you can see price is coming down and now you can see there was a, a counter trend spotted here you can see this trend is going against the main trend of the market which is going up all right so i'm going to make sure i join the two lows all right the two higher lows the market make here the two structure here right so you are going to draw your trend line make sure you join two lows together for it to be valid okay now you can see here there is a counter trend which if, if you go to the one minute time frame you see that this is a very good uptrend here all right it's looking somehow now but it's a good one as far as you see your um fractal showing that Yes, this is a very a, a valid one okay so now you join the two loads together now you are joining them together like this and now after connecting them together like this the next thing you have to wait for is to wait for price to break below that all right so as you can see before the overall trend of the market is a downtrend right so you draw your your counter trend here which is going up then you wait for price to break below it all right so you can see price went bounce here and then went up went to the main trend of the market got, got rejected it broke our counter trend line right so as you can see here 
this is the candle that broke below the trend line and this is the candle here it closed here right so from that area you can take your your cell entry you can see here you take your cell entry from this area take your cell entry from this area here and then your stop loss is going to be the be uh, at the beginning of that um, sorry your tp area right your tp area that's what i want to see it's going to be at the beginning and then the stop loss is going to be at the bottom of at the top of this area here okay this is where your stop loss is going to be right so any candlestick that breaks above the trend line the most recent structure the the market make right the structure of that candlestick that breaks below that trend line is where you are going to be putting your stop loss okay so in this case this is where you'll be putting your stop loss right so because this is the candlestick that break it and this is the structure of that um, candlestick so you place your stop loss above this area and then your target is going to be at the beginning of that trend line okay so as you can see here it went very well okay this is a win trade for you all right so let me show you guys another example again the market is kind of ranging at this area so in this kind of case you are not to take any entry but even if you take entry it will still go your way but it's going to be just a small profit and you don't you wouldn't want to be taking trades like this okay so you make sure you take the one that the trend went up for a long time okay now in this case this is another entry it's a small one but it gives an entry here you connect these two and uh, higher lows of the market and this is the candlestick that breaks above it you take your entry from this area your stop your tp is here your stop loss is here this is another win entry again okay you can see this is also another winning entry again here right and here you can see here you, this is the first one that happened right price did not close below it okay so whenever it goes up whenever price goes up and give it a week and down like this what you have to do is that what you have to do is that you adjust your trend line to, to match it up very well so you can see you adjust it weak out again you adjust right you any candle close below that trend line okay make sure the candlestick close below the trend line before you take any entry so in this case you can see here this candlestick close below it your tp is going to be at this area you can see this is your stop loss above this structure here right so you can see this is another winning trade again all right this is another winning trade and then here again you can see here this is another winning trade here again okay so you can see you are scalping you go in you go out all right this is another winning trade here you can see sorry you can see this is the candlestick that closes above below it your stop loss above that and your tp at this area here hope you guys are understanding what i'm trying to explain here all right so this is also another winning trade price kept going down and then there's another counter trend here going up <coughs> you can see another counter trend here going up so you use your trend line to mark it out this is the first one you took your entry you got stop out okay no strategy is 100 percent there are times where you are going to get losses okay but just know whenever it turns it turns in your favor you're going to go a long way okay so this is another this is one this entry you take a loss there okay stick here close below the um trend the trend line all right so your first stop loss is at this area here above this area here Hope you understand what i'm saying your first stop loss is going to be above this area uh, structure you can see here this would have taken you out okay all right so all you have to do now is to adjust your trend line again okay you adjust it to the most recent structure all right so this is the this is the stroke um this is the the candlestick that took you out okay so this is the structure it made this is the structure it made so now what you do you adjust your trend line to that okay you wait for candlestick to close below the trend line the, the trend line again which it did here and you would have taken your second your second loss here again right i know it happens right so this is like two times you are failed now all right okay so what you do now you adjust your your trend line again to this area now you wait for um, your candlestick the candlestick to close below it again okay and this is where it closed below this one 
can see this is the area it looks so let me let me mark it out with our line here all right so this is where it close below the trend line all right so your stop loss is going to be above this area here sorry so your stop loss is going to be above the most recent structure the market made so your <coughs> so your stop your stop loss is going to be above the most recent structure the market made which is um this one right here you can see this is the most recent structure the market made all right so that is just where your stop loss is going to be and then your tp is going to be at this area here all right this is where your stop loss is going to be make sure you're touching the body of the candle all right so this is how you are to go about this all right so let's see how the market did so this is how you are to go about the trade all right so let's see how the market perform okay so you can see it went down a little bit went up for it test so it it's remaining small to go to your stop loss but it eventually went down okay made another um, run for your stop loss again here and then it eventually went down to your tp okay so this is how the market plays with your emotions you can see it went up as if it wants to go and hit your stop loss came down went up to your um entry point again i didn't you you set a break even here i didn't you move your stop loss to break even i didn't you move your stop loss to break even around this area here you would have um, price would have taken you taken you out okay that is what it does okay so you can see since you have move your stop loss above that area it will have come here and then go down you still be safe okay you still be safe and you can see price eventually came to our tp area and this would have been a lot of profit for you okay so this is how you trade with this strategy okay you can see i've back tested it and you see how it's performing okay so that is how it will perform for you too okay so make sure you back test this strategy you can see it's a very simple strategy to understand okay i think this is all i have for you, you guys in today's video thanks for watching if you have watched this um level thank you for your time and um i think that's all i'll be seeing you guys in the next video okay please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay all right guys i'll be seeing you in the next video see you out